So you say in your book, Eleven Rings, that you never really felt comfortable during victory celebrations, which is weird because you had so many. Why was that? You know, I guess the joy after a ball game and the, you know, relief after a ball game is fine. It's that parade two days later that you're on a bus, you're in a car, and, you know, for a basketball coach, you know, it's like, well, next season started yesterday, the day after the last one was over. Um, and we could celebrate it, but let's not get too overboard here. You also say that the critical ingredient in winning a ring is love. Would you like to explain? Uh, you know, I know teams that get along well together, they party well together, they have great times together, but they're not about, you know, the sharing and the, the real deep care that goes into what you have to do as a team. You know, you have to protect each other, you have to cover each other's butt when they're, someone's getting beat off and so you have to know the, the patterns that people best fit when they come off for a shot, how to deliver the ball the right way so they can get a good shot. All these type of things go into it that mean that you have to move outside of yourself and think about others. Your coaching techniques, you say, arose from your belief system, which if I've read it right, is sort of a combination of Christian mysticism, some Zen Buddhism, and some Native American beliefs. Do you believe there's a God? Well, yes. I don't, I'm not so sure we use that word in the right tense or co context, I should say. Um, you know, I like, you know, all those other terms, Yahweh, or, the, you know, the prime mover, or, you know, the presence that there is, or whatever. You know, but, you know, that naming aspect, I understand, sometimes it gets pretty rigid and formal. Uh, it's, it's about following the moment, being in harmony with the moment. It's really important, and I think that's where, um, you know, we've lost some of our idea of what is religion and what is spirituality. So if you were starting a team from scratch, and it was a team that was, I don't know, in the moment, and you could have any player in history at, you know, who would be your very first pick? In my estimation, the guy that has to be there would be Bill Russell. He's won 11 championships as a player. I think that's the, really the idea of what excellence is, is when you win championships. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.